Hi there. Now, in a previous tutorial, I introduced you to the harmonic identities, something like these two examples that I've got here. I showed you that you could express something like 3 sin x plus 4 cos x in the form r sin x plus alpha, and it turns out to be 5 sin x plus 53 degrees. And similarly, for, say, 12 cos x plus 5 sin x, that turns out to be 13 cos x minus 23 degrees when we express it in the form r cos x minus alpha. And both these angles, 53 degrees and 23 degrees, are given to the nearest degree. Now what I want to show you in this video is a very common question that tends to be tagged on to the end of these kind of questions where it asks you to find the max and min values of some expression, let's say y, that contains these harmonic identities. And we're also asked to find the first positive value of x for which this occurs. So I'll take you through these very common types of examples that you're likely to get. So. Let's take this first one anyway, y equals 3 sin x plus 4 cos x. We can see from this identity up here, and by the way, if you're unsure of these identities, do check uh, out my earlier video on how we go about doing this. So anyway, it's equivalent to 5 sine of x plus 53 degrees. So if we put that in here, we're going to get that y equals 5 sine x plus 53 degrees. So when it comes to working out the maximum value of y, then this is going to be 5 times a variable quantity. And we know from the sine graph that sine of any angle goes between minus 1 and 1. And if we're to maximize this, we need to multiply 5 by the maximum value here of 1. So we end up clearly with 5. And if we're looking for the angle of x, that first positive value of x that gives us this result, we look at that angle of x plus 53 degrees, and we want this to give us 1 when we take the sine of it. And you can see that that angle has to be 90 degrees. And so that then taking 53 degrees away from both sides, leaves us with x equals 37 degrees. All right. Now we move on to finding the minimum value of y. And for the minimum value of y, we're going to have 5 multiplied by the smallest value that we can get for sine of an angle. And that's going to be negative 1. So it's 5 times minus 1, giving us then minus 5. And the angle that this occurs at will be when x plus 53 degrees gives us a negative 1 when we sign it. So that angle is 270 degrees. So we've got that equaling 270 degrees. And clearly, if we take 53 degrees away from 270 degrees, we're left with 217 degrees. So that's that example there. Now, we move on to this second one here, where I'm combining a harmonic identity with a constant value at the front here. So 12 cos x plus 5 sin x, we've seen here, is identical to 13 cosine of x minus 23 degrees. So if I fill that in then, we've got y equals 15 minus 13 times the cosine of x minus 23. Now in order to work out the maximum value for y, we're going to have 15 minus 13 times a value from the cosine function. So if we just put up the cosine graph here, what we're looking for is to take as little as we can from 15. In fact, if we choose negative 1, then we actually end up with 15 plus 13. Okay, 
So in this example, you can see we don't choose the maximum value of 1. It won't give us the maximum value of y overall. So this becomes 15 plus 13, giving us a total of 28. And the angle x that this is going to occur at will be when x minus 23 degrees is equal to, well, the cosine of an angle giving us minus 1 is the 180 degrees. So this is going to be equal to 180 degrees. And so when we add 23 to the 180 degrees, we end up with 203 degrees for x. Now let's have a look at the minimum value for y. So for the minimum value of y, well, this is going to be 15 minus 13 times something. Well, we need to take off as much as we can from the 15. And in this, it's got to be minus 13 times 1. 15 minus 13, in other words, giving us 2. And that 1 is created when we take the cosine of 0. So for the angle, it looks like we need to say that this occurs when x minus 23 degrees equals 0 degrees there. So that when we add 23 degrees to both sides, we end up with x equaling 23 degrees. OK, so that's that example. Now we move on to the last one. And this is an important example because we've got a term here that's squared. So 3 sine x plus 4 cos x is the same as 5 sine of x plus 53 degrees. And if I square it, that's going to be 5 squared 25 times all of sine of x plus 53 squared. So if I fill that in there, we end up with 40 minus 25 times all of sine of x plus 53 degrees squared. Now, when it comes to finding the maximum value of y, we've got 40 then minus 25 multiplied by some value here. Now, to get the maximum value of y, let's just bring up the uh, graph for sine. Then we might be tempted to think, well, we could take, say, a minimum value here, minus 1. But remember, if you take minus 1 and you square it, that's plus 1. You're going to end up with 40 minus 25. If you take the 1 here and square it, it's still going to be 1, 40 minus 25 there. I can get bigger than that if we, in fact, take 0 here. And that's the thing that you've got to be careful about. 0 squared is just going to give this term 0, so you end up with just 40. So that maximum value is, in fact, 40. And that occurs, then, when the angle, x plus 53 degrees, OK, equals, well, the first value here is 0. But then I look at this and think, well, hold on a minute. We're going to take 53 degrees from the 0. That's going to give us negative 53 degrees. We're looking for the first positive value of x. So, in fact, this value is not going to be valid in this example. I need to move on to the next value that would return 0. And that's going to be 180 degrees. So, therefore, x is going to be 180 degrees minus 53 degrees. And that leaves us with 127 degrees. So a bit of care has got to be taken on that type of example. Let's go on to the minimum value of y now. For the minimum value of y, we're going to have 40 then. 40 minus 25 times another value here. Now with this one... We want to take off as much as we can from the 40. And we might think, oh, well, we'll just take the 1 here. 1 squared would be 1. So that looks good. 
but also if we took minus 1 because we're squaring it it too would return 1 here so it is plus or minus 1 when you square it you'll end up with 40 minus 25 40 minus 25 then gives us 15 and so when it comes to finding the value of x this time we're looking at that angle x plus 53 degrees and to get a value say of 1 here the angle that you would have had to have signed would have been 90 degrees so this would be equal to 90 degrees and that's as far as I need to go I don't need to go to the negative one which would have been the 270 degrees because as soon as I take 53 degrees away from 90 I end up with the smallest positive value for x and that is 37 degrees so let's just remove that other graph now so you can see all three examples I hope that's given you some idea then on how to handle this type now in the next video what I'll be doing is extending this further where we'll be looking at fractional types and you have to take care on those ones because some other ideas occur in them as you'll see so I'd encourage you to have a look at that next video. Okay, so I hope that's been okay for you so far.